Hey guys, don't mind if you hear a bit of noise. Cassie's doing a YouTube video right over there. She's going to try and make an elf. Make sure you watch this because I really don't think an elf is going to turn out like that. Great for the support. Bang. So I'm going to do a horror video. Well, like, yeah. Let's get on to the first one. Oh, hang on, I'm going to get a roll of him. I'll be back. One second, guys. Nearly 20 years ago, one day I visited one of my friends at his apartment, which Ooh. was very old and shabby. There was an entrance to an elevator in the center of the corridor. Creepy. I can't remember well, but my friend lived in unit 701 or 801 on the 7th or 8th floor. So looking at the apartment building from outside the main entrance, his house was on the far left end. Got a bit to say already. Oh, I didn't mention elevator. Got a little creepy. So yeah, carry on. Per day. My friend said he was alone and didn't have any plans. So we called two of our friends and had a drinking party. The four of us had been drinking since the early evening. And just before passing out, we all lied on the floor, turned the lights on, and started talking. That's already creepy, but let's move on to another one. Can't really subscribe. Creepy as McDonald's horror story animation. Oh, it's already started off with a bad word. Three in the morning. She told me to text her when I got there so that she could let me inside. Once I pulled in. I noticed a man standing outside of his car in the farthest it's corner of the parking right, lot. Right? He was shooting, shooting me this sort of menacing stare. Let me point out that it's completely pouring outside. I was really confused as to why this guy wasn't just sitting in his car. I then parked and texted my manager to let me inside. Seconds later, I noticed her at the door opening it for me. Upon walking up to her, I say my usual good morning. I was stopped mid-sentence by her rushing me inside and saying, Did you see that guy outside? I told her yes, and she proceeded to guys, me refill sauces, napkins, you and things like that. that My manager then Actually, told okay, me that I'm she's going to check the security now. tapes just to make sure that everything during the period that the restaurant was closed was okay. Minutes later, my manager called me into her office for whatever reason. She told me to look at the screen, and it showed that the same man was standing outside. The time was 12.47. She then fast-forwarded the tape to reveal that the man had been standing outside the entire time up until now. And at this point, it's about 3.50 a.m. I ran to the front lobby and I noticed him still standing over by his car. I figured or was hoping that he was probably just on something and he was waiting for us to open so that maybe he could get breakfast. I resumed filling sauces again and making sure everything was in working order. Until I was abruptly interrupted okay, okay. by banging at the front door. I walked over and noticed a figure right outside the front door. It was the man. I yelled that we were closed and that he would have to come back later. That didn't seem to phase him as he continued to bang on the door. I walked away, figuring that he was just being an asshole when suddenly I heard a loud crash. I ran to the lobby to see the glass door broken and the man beginning to step inside. I yelled for my manager and told her that we needed to leave through the back door. And we did just that. We booked into our cars and both called the cops. They arrived in about 15 minutes and came outside the restaurant with a dirty looking man in cuffs. They said he was hiding in the back janitor's closet with a large knife in his hand. So that's my story and also the reason I'm never working early mornings again. Well, that's enough, guys, of creepy stories. Um, uh, I hope I didn't scare you. Bye, guys.